What is up, folks? My name's Justin Kana, and this is the Victorinox 8-inch Fibrox Pro Chef Knife. So Mastrop, the guys that I made a video about the other day, sent me this, as promised, and this is my formal review of this knife. I wanna talk about two things I liked about this knife and three things I thought were left to be desired. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video so I can give you a heads up on how to win this very same knife that I just sharpened by hand. It is... Yeah, it's pretty sharp. So why this knife? Well, Mastrop does polls on their site. Well, they'll pick three different products and pit them up against each other in a certain category. That knife won the top kitchen knife under $150, and by far, the price point is only $29.99, which is actually $10 cheaper than anywhere else I could find online. So props to Mastrop for keeping the prices low. And as with most of my videos, links to everything I talk about is down below in the description for all the most up-to-date prices for you guys. I've had this knife for about a week, and my experience with it includes a 200 person party that I cooked for as well as two dinners at home. So let's get into the review. Starting off with the unboxing experience, it was a little lackluster for me. I just got a package in the mail from these guys. So let's open it up, shall we? It's not as fun when you know what's inside. Almost dropped coffee all over my stuff. That's it. It's got that uh, horrible but still probably safe plastic around the outside. Cut it open, opening with the blade away from me. Okay, so that is the unboxing. So first impressions, this to me feels like a standard kind of normal, we would call this one in the industry a beater knife. This is not really a high-end precision instrument. This is a tool and you should use it as such. There's just something about things being packaged that way that seems a little bit mass produced and it's definitely not the most fun to open. But regardless, the first thing that you notice with this knife is the handle shape and that is where the word Fibrox comes into play. That is the combination of the ergonomic design as well as the textured plastic that is supposed to add a non-slip grip to the handle. And I gotta say, it's super utilitarian, the shape of the handle. It's not exactly the sexiest design, but if I was gonna chop a 50 pound bag of onions, I would probably reach for that knife first just because I know that it would actually hold a beefier grip in my hand when I'm doing those projects. Plus, comparing the Fibrox handle to a wood handle, it is definitely more non-slip. However, I prefer to have a hand that I hold my knife with to always be clean. You'll never see me having a glove on the hand that I'm filleting with or butchering or chopping vegetables with because I like the tactile feeling of holding the knife in my hand, knowing that it's dry, no oil. And once you make that binary switch in your mind that, okay, right hand, always clean, you'll just feel better when you're cooking and it's 3000% safer. There's a decently beefy heel, which is also nice for that scooping off of the cutting board maneuver. But I like that a lot because as I said in my unboxing, video, this is a great chef knife to use for that chopping motion. We would call it a haché knife on your cutting board where you're doing this, whether it's chopping garlic or shallots or making beet tartare. The projects where you don't want to dull your main chef knife, you can keep this bad boy sharp and bust it out knowing that you can crush those projects. This knife isn't forged, it is stamped, which is the process by which they take a cold rolled sheet of steel, stamp out the shape, grind it, temper it, and then sharpen it. This takes way less steps than actually forging a knife, which isn't only reflected in the price, but it actually results in a way thinner and lighter knife, which may or may not be your preference. I personally like a little bit more weight to my knife, but again, for the projects that I would use this knife for, it is perfect to have it nice and thin and light. The one thing I did notice looking at this steel is the steel has kind of that plasticky metal feel. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? My fellow knife nerds will know. Speaking of being a ground blade on this knife, the edge is actually designed to be resistant to chipping, which is fantastic. It's one of the reasons why I say this is a great knife to use instead of your main chef knife where you would kind of cringe to think about using your main chef knife on a project. The break point is just wider and beefier on this knife so it's way less likely to chip. Speaking of that, let's sharpen this, shall we? Is it sharp?
yeah, it's sharp. The curved piece of magazine paper is a great way to test your knives, so I'm super happy with that. The steel on this knife is an X50 CRMO composition, and that has to do with all the other elements in the steel alloy. It is a high carbon steel that is also very stain resistant, which is also amazing. Its Rockwell hardness is 5556, which again, isn't amazing, but I think it's hard enough to hold an edge either as a supplemental knife, if you're the professional chef, or to last you through the entire week if you're cooking at home. Another point I was thinking about when I was sharpening this knife was how easy it is to reshape the edge because the steel isn't that hard. I did keep the 50-50 edge on it. I took it all the way down to a 300 grit stone, up to a 1,000, and then a 3,000 grit stone. I'll make a video later on sharpening my knives, my whole process with that, but that's my typical workflow. I'll usually finish my super hard knives on a 6,000 grit stone, but again, that's for another video. So overall, who is this knife for and should you buy it? So if you're cooking at home a lot and want some decent ergonomics at a really low price point with a steel where you could take it to your local sharpener and get a pretty decently nice edge back on it, yes, you should buy it. If you're a chef at $29.99, I think that price point makes it a no-brainer, especially if you're gonna use it as a tool to supplement your already good bag of knives. Also, if you're just getting into whetstone sharpening, I think this knife is fantastic because you can use it to not only fix your angles, make sure your angles are right without having to worry about screwing it up, but then you you can also check because the knife and the steel is hard enough to see if you're actually getting results from all that hard work. I want to give this knife away now. Big thanks to Mastrop, my favorite community driven place to shop online. They don't pay me to say anything good or bad, they just send me gear and ask for my thoughts. It's actually knife week this week on Mastrop. They've got so many deals on ton of different knives, so if you've been thinking about either getting your holiday shopping done or upgrading your current setup, I highly, highly recommend getting involved there. I will be personally chiming in on their Q&A threads all this week, so hopefully you get a chance to get the perfect knife and get all your holiday shopping done. High five. So to win this knife, it's simple. Just like and comment on the video, and also make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Once this video hits 100 likes, I'll be picking one person that comment and is subscribed to the channel and give this knife to you. Like I said, it's fresh sharpened by hand by me so I look forward to shipping this out to one of you very very soon thank you so much for your attention huge thanks to my supporters on patreon you guys are the bomb until next time I'm Justin Kana have a good one